Hi friends, Gnome in the Cottage here, coming to you from my kitchen. Big old farmhouse kitchen here. It's not really a farmhouse, but it's a farmhouse kitchen. So if you're new here, and I'm gonna say this again, please like, comment, and subscribe to Gnome in the Cottage. We're in the cottage right now today. So today I've tried my hand at pickling. I looked up several different recipes. I watched several different videos on pickling to see what I'm supposed to be doing here, how to do it. And I kind of um, mushed it all into my own thing. So let me show you. I think I've probably shown this a couple times. You wanna say hi, Alex? All right, it's Alex in the cottage. Alex in the cottage, Alex in the cottage. All right, Alex, let's, let's show them what we've used here. So we've used mostly, Mostly white vinegar, um, but I also, I have a few that I used red wine vinegar and a few that I used apple cider vinegar in. Peppercorn kernels, pepper, peppercorn kernels. I used a cinnamon stick in one, or, one at least. Star anise went into a couple of these. Bay leaves. Now, uh, red, red pepper, red pepper flakes. Couple of the recipes I used tarragon because some of the recipes said use tarragon. Cloves, uh, in some of it, I'm not a huge clove fan, but I know it's good for some things. Pickling spice. I used sea salt because most of the recipes I, I, I well, some of them said to use sea salt. I used fresh eggs from my chicken coop. I pickled, so what, well, I think in the end, I'll show you the methods that I used, but basically I made a brine. I sampled different kinds of brines and um, we shall see how it turns out. But what I'm gonna show you is the process that I used to make them, kinda. And hey, maybe it will inspire you to pickle something. What I wanna know in my comment section is what else should I be doing here? What else should I be pickling? Let me know. I don't know. It's all new to me. So let's check it out. Hello friends, it's Gnome in the Cottage and I am, well, the other day I tried to pickle some things. I, I'm actually, I, I bought some pickled dilly beans and they were delicious. I was at an herbal fair. And so I decided that I was gonna start pickling things. So today I'm gonna to show you the beginning of my process and what I got and what my plan is. Salted duck eggs, it's an Asian recipe. These are in the shell. I didn't make a video about it, um, but maybe I will if I do it again. They need to sit for, why is the garlic turning green? That's interesting, I just made it yesterday. Well, these are these need to sit for five to seven weeks before they are ready to cook. And then, or you, my my Chinese students say you can eat them raw. I don't believe it. But for today, I have purchased some cauliflower, some green beans, some peppers, and I have eggs. These are fresh eggs laid by my chickens. Yep, yeah, that's my SpongeBob. Uh, forgive my messy island. I, this is a functional kitchen, not a neat one. All right, so here we go. We've got some, I've looked up several recipes. I, I have fresh garlic, I have minced garlic, I have cloves, star anise, tarragon, mason jars, I even have bigger ones than this, um, but they're in use. Different kinds of vinegar. Um, these are peppercorns. So I'm gonna try my hand at pickling and sea salt. Right now I'm gonna start with the eggs. First step is to boil the eggs. Um, I'm gonna do these eggs except the little ones. Um, I don't know. My my fiance eats these. I don't, so I I don't know. I'm going to just oops. I should probably be adding these a better way. I want 12 total, so. So the, anyways, these are gonna turn into hard boiled eggs. I don't know, should I try the little ones? Let's try them, see what happens. There's probably a better way to do this, but 
that's not what I'm doing. All right. So we shall resume when I get back to pickling some more. Oh, and for the cauliflower, it also said I should blanch the cauliflower. So what I'm probably going to do is um, refill this after the eggs are hard boiled because the, I didn't wash these, but hard boiling them, I'll wash them off and then I'll peel them. I will probably just use this same pan to blanch. Yes, this is my range. Lovely, isn't it? All right. Okay, my eggs are done. Yeah, I didn't, it's not ideal, but you know, we'll work with what we got. So now what I'm going to do is, um, it, it appears to be equal parts vinegar and sugar for the pickled eggs. So I'm going to add vinegar, sugar, and salt. Let's see how that goes. Um, vinegar. I'm going to use a couple of different things here. All right. So since I've got, I'm going to do a cup. No, I'm probably going to actually do two cups. Because I'm going to use the brine for a few different things here. And then I'm going to try experimenting with some of the other vinegars that I have. So we got that. Um, and now I am literally just taking recipes that I have from several different sources. All right, this is going to have salt in it. So we're going to go three quarters of a cup. I am not an even, no, not three quarters. I'm going to go half a cup, see how that works. I'm just trying to make a brine here. And now I'm not being very exact. I'm kind of old fashioned. I'm going to experiment and see what happens. Salt that much. Let's see what happens. Okay. And sugar. Oh, I gotta turn this on. Okay. Old fashioned stove. Yeah. It's like a restaurant style range. Let's see what I got here. Sugar. Okay. Um, um, I'm just gonna use regular old sugar. This is a quarter cup measure. Um, it said three quarters of a cup per three. Four, I'm just gonna like put a half cup of sugar and see what happens. And we're gonna start with that and make a brine. And then the uh, other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blanch the cauliflower. It said the blanch, and I'm probably gonna blanch the dilly beans as well. Okay, at this point, I've got my brine boiling. It is got some pickling spice, some black peppercorn, vinegar, sugar, and sea salt. I am going to begin to fill some water in this in a minute for blanching my cauliflower. I've got my eggs peeled and ready. Um, some of them didn't come out as whole, but we're going to work with it. They're pickling, so it can't. Hopefully that comes out good. In the bottom of these jars, I've got a bay leaf. Um, one of them, one of them has tarragon, um, red pepper, and I put some minced garlic in there as well. Here it is, minced garlic. And I'm gonna pour the brine over the eggs. I'm gonna start putting the eggs in the jar. Let's see how many I can get into one of these jars. That was my, my whole thing. I wasn't sure how many would fit. Okay, so this looks good so far. Um, one more might be pushing it. What do you think? Maybe one more small. All right, that'll mm, that'll be good. And then I'll just put the other ones in there. Hopefully they all fit. Um, yep, they do. All right, so good. That's the eggs. And then I'm gonna pour the brine right over them in just a few minutes. I'm going to stir it up a little bit more, and we shall see how this works. I should add that I also added some star anise and some pickling spice, and so far, to these. Now, I've still got the cauliflower, and I'm going to use the pepper, and the I'm going to make dilly beans, so this is all still yet to come. Okay, right now, I am making 
another brine. That looks done. I'm blanching my cauliflower. Meanwhile, I've poured some of that brine. I let it cool. And I'm going to go ahead and let it shake it up. Because what's on the bottom needs to mix in. Okay, I'm making a brine. Uh, the second brine I'm making is with apple cider vinegar. Um, I'm just going to kind of label what I'm doing. And these are eggs. They have sugar. I'm going to try to make a sugar-free. The next thing I'm going to make is going to be sugar-free. And it will be cauliflower with some of these lovely peppers. But yeah, I did look and it said you should blanch the cauliflower. I'm going to blanch the, the beans too, just, just to see. Okay, I did use... Oh, let's see, we're waiting on this one. I put tarragon in this one as well. We did use some minced garlic. And I also have some whole garlic cloves that I am about to use in the cauliflower and the dilly beans. So this I'm just going to label and set it. Um, I don't know. I've seen mixed, mixed reviews. You can let it sit for four or five days. You can let it sit for a few weeks. I have no idea. We will find out. Pickled eggs. Let's see how it goes. So today I have made some dilly beans. This, the brine in these contains salt, white vinegar, pickling seasoning, uh, garlic, some red, uh, sorry, bell peppers, but no sugar in these. I did make a brine with apple cider for these. This is cauliflower and pepper. And there is sugar in this. I'm going to label it. But I'm not selling these, so I'm not putting out the ingredients. I'm just doing this as an experiment. Pickled eggs. Hmm, pickled eggs. Where did I go wrong here? It looks like the yolk kind of broke down a little bit and is making its way into the vinegar. So I don't know how that's going to be. I experimented with some red wine pickling brine. We'll see how that is. Dilly beans. Again, I'm not selling them, so this doesn't have quite as many beans as I think I could have packed in there. Dilly beans. So that was my day of pickling.